In this video, I will show you a three-step procedure for doing metric conversions. And I'm going to give you a couple of sample calculations as well, converting uh, from uh, units of length, like millimeters to, ki to kilometers or uh, kilograms to milligrams or, or basically anything uh, in, within the metric system. Uh, these two amounts just more like uh, memory joggers there. So for metric conversions, please remember that uh, when you're converting, uh, you're not converting numbers you're not converting the amounts, what you are actually converting are the units of measurement. Millimeters, kilograms, milligrams and kilometers, those are units for measurements, they are not the actual amounts. Okay, the amounts and the units of measurements, they, uh, they go hand in hand, but they are different things. And for units of measurement, let me just do this one. We always have a base unit and in the metric system we have multiples of this base unit and that multiplier or that factor is always 10 times. So we have 10 times the base unit or 100 times a base unit or 1000 times a base unit or 1 tenth of a base unit or 100th of a base unit or 1000th of a base unit. And uh, like I uh, explained in previous videos money makes a great example uh, where how the metric system works and my three-step procedure for converting metric uh, metric within metric will be based on how you work with money on a daily basis uh, for the base unit for calculations is the dollar and we've got uh, a tenfold amount there, a ten dollar bill, and we have ten times that amount, and it's going to be a hundred dollar bill. And we have ten times that amount, and it's a thousand dollar bill. I don't have one, it's only used in international transactions or so, so I can't show you one. I don't qualify. Uh, likewise, as the base unit, likewise, we have one tenth of the base unit, and it's a ten cent coin, and we have a hundredth of the base unit and it's a penny. It's one cent. Now, I'm going to use uh, an analogy from an elevator and uh, the base unit, these are, these are going to be different uh, levels in a building. Okay, The level on which the base unit is, that's ground level and uh, I'm going to write a number zero there for base unit. Now I know that in a building normally there is no zeroth floor because that's just retarded. However, uh, that zero for ground floor, it, it will make sense. There's got to be a zero there. Uh, if we go up one level, we're going to get to the first level uh, above the ground level. So I'm going to write a plus one for that level, a plus two for that level and a plus three for that level, uh, meaning that it's three levels above the ground floor. So the thousand dollar bill is uh, uh, three levels above the base unit, the dollar. And likewise, we can go down, we can go into the parkade, and I'm going to write minus one. That's uh, underground parkade level one, underground parkade level two, and we have a third amount here that doesn't totally work with money. Uh, a third amount is uh, can be made within metric here, and I'm going to call it just uh, underground level three. These numbers will be important later because these numbers are the exponent numbers of ten. Here, this is 10 to the power of 0, 10 to the power of 1, 10 to the power of 3, 10 to the power of negative 3, but don't worry about it for now. However, these numbers are important. This is plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, so please just run along with this uh, elementary school uh, uh, feel uh, elevator numbers or uh, building uh, numbers. When we go down, 
Let's see, how do I do this? There, we can ride down the elevator. And as you ride down on an elevator, say we start somewhere, say pretend we start there, and we count how many levels we go down. We can go down two levels or three levels, or we can go down all the way. It's six levels in total. And likewise, on the elevator, we can go up as well, a total of six levels again, starting from the uh, underground parkade level three to all the way to the top of the building. It's going to be six levels. It's important how you work with negative numbers. And uh, if you just follow this uh, analogy, that will make uh, a lot of the mystery out of metric conversion. Now, let's. Uh, I want to show you something. What else is covered here uh, by this paper? We also have other units of measurement, and I picked three. Just uh, we have more than three, but I picked some that is somewhat frequently used: length, weight, and electric potential. And uh, in metric, let me just show you all of these uh, little the rest of the table here and maybe zoom into it a little bit there's all the letters here we have the base unit meters grams and volts okay uh, in metric we measure by meters uh, mass or weight is measured by grams and uh, electrical potential is measured in volts you have 120 volt outlets in your home typically or 240 depending on where you live now, uh, in the metric system, we have uh, the base units and uh, multiples of 10 of the base units or uh, tenths of the base units. So we have decimeters, decigrams, and decivolts, centimeters. Here, here's, here's money. Cent, centimeters, centigrams, and centivolts, and millimeters, milligram, millivolts, or decameters, deca grams and decavolts, hectoes meaning hundred times and kilo meaning a thousand times. So we have kilometers, kilograms, kilovolts. And uh, I don't have a kilogram weight to uh, show you. It's about two pounds. And for kilovolts, uh, just in case you're wondering, here is some electrical power lines and uh, when equipment is set up, you have to have a distance it's, uh, from the power lines. It's called uh, limits of approach and here you can see amounts specified on the sheet here in kilovolts 75 kilovolt 250 kilovolts so so these kilovolts and uh, and these amounts uh, exist depending on the uh, trade you're in uh, you may or may not see them or uh, more or less frequently so that's basically how multiples of uh, metric measurements are being made and if I zoom back out, I'll show you a calculation here, briefly how it works. So starting with money, I'll show you how this elevator works. For example, we can convert, say, five dollars. And uh, I know it's usually written the other way around, but I'm going to write it this way now. Five dollars equals how many cents? Let me just zoom in a little bit. Five dollars equals how many cents? And this is how you do it with the elevator. You start at the base unit, dollars. And you see how many levels you have to travel up or down to get to the, this is the given amount. And this is the requested amount that's supposed to be a letter Q. So not reg, it is or EQ, requested amount. So you start at the given amount there, and you go down one, two, two levels to get to the requested amount. And this is how the elevator works. If you travel down, you're going to have to move the decimal dot to the right. If you're traveling up on the elevator, you're going to have to move the decimal dot to the left. And of course, that uh, goes without saying, add zeros as needed. Add zeros as needed. And also for this one, add zeros 
as needed. Let me just explain what that means with this example. So this is how the elevator amount works. Step one. Count levels of ride. Count levels of ride. So you started the given, you arrive to the requested. That level of ride is two. And I'm just going to write two here in a bracket. Step two, copy number. Uh, what number? The given number. So I'm going to write it that way. Copy the given number. So I'm going to write the given number here. It's five. Now, five dollars is not five cents, but we're not done yet. And the third step there is uh, place decimal dot, place decimal dot, add zeros as needed. Place the decimal dot and add zeros as needed. Now, this is how it works. So we have two levels of right to go. So I put it there. You copy down the same number that's given in the first place into the requested uh, space here. And then, because we went down on the elevator starting from the base unit, we went down. So we're going to move the decimal dot this way. Now for this one, please remember that $5 is the same thing as $5.00, okay? $5 and 0 cents. So you write down the 5, and you know that the decimal dot is here. And then you move the decimal dot once, twice. That's where the decimal dot is going to end up with. Because we're going down two levels, the decimal dot goes this way to the right twice. And then add zeros as needed. So the final answer is 500 cents or 500 point, because the decimal dot is there, 500 point zero 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 zero. But uh, those zeros won't make a difference. But those two zeros are important. So five dollars is five hundred cents. So that's how this elevator ride goes. Uh, let's try another one. Say, uh, if you have in a cookie jar like this, if you have a cookie jar and it has uh, one hundred and twenty-three pieces of dime in it, those are dimes. That's what I wrote. One hundred and twenty-three pieces of dimes. The question is, how many, uh, how many uh, ten dollar bills can you make out of this amount? So this is the requested, uh, this is the given amount, and the requested amount will be here. Let's go for an elevator ride. We're starting at the dime level, and we're going up to the ten dollar bill amount. The dime level is, uh, where are we here? A dime is a 10 cent coin. We start here. We're going up one level, two levels. We're going up two levels to arrive at the $10 bill level. So again, I'm just going to put this two here in the back bracket, there. And I'm going to count, I'm going to copy the same number that we started with in the answer box there. Now 123, remember, is 123.000. Now because we went up this time, from this level to this, we are moving, where is the rules? We're moving the decimal dot that way, to the left. So you start with 123.0 in the answer, and you move the decimal dot once, twice, there. And there's your final answer. Uh, I know it looks a little ugly, so I just copy it down. 1.23. So out of a dime, you can make 1.23 $10 bills. So you will have one $10 bill, and you're going to have uh, somewhat 23 dimes still in your hand because you won't be able to uh, change it into a $10 bill. You can change it into a $2, but uh, nothing else. So that's how this elevator ride works with money. Now, quickly, let's see how it works with uh, units of length. Just uh, real fast here. Say, how about 
How about 1300 milligrams equals how many kilograms? How about that one? And of course, milligram, instead of milligrams, you can put in millimeters and kilometers. It's going to be the same. So we're starting at milligrams. That's given and requested is kilograms. Let's go for a ride. We have to go up one, two, three, four, five, six levels to get this one done. So I'm going to write a six in there. And I'm going to copy the answer here, 13 hundred and we're not done yet I just copied the given number now we need to place the decimal dot and it's here it's 1300.0 now we're moving it six places over and because we went up we're going this way with the decimal dot so let's see one two three four five Six. That's where the decimal dot is going to end up. And now we add zeros as needed. So we add one zero before the decimal dot. And one goes there and one goes there. Let me just zoom in a little bit. So you can see the final answer better. And in the final answer, of course, this zero and this zero is going to be redundant because the last two significant digits are the digit one and the digit three. So the final answer is zero point zero zero one three kilograms but this is just as good as that so it's a uh, thirteen thousandth sorry thirteen ten thousandth kilogram so uh, that's the final answer and uh, one more example maybe with uh, how about uh, seven hundred and fifty uh, kilovolts that we saw on the uh, worker safety uh, page 107 uh, 750 kilovolts is how many how many volts we're starting at kilovolts and we're requested is volts so let me just start at kilovolts and uh, we're gonna have to arrive at volts let's go down the elevator one level two level three levels that's three levels down I'm gonna put a little three there in the corner in a bracket and I'm gonna copy the number 750 and because we went down we're gonna be going that way to the right with the decimal and so 750 is the same as 750.0 so that's where we start with the decimal dot and we go one place two place three places and that's where we are gonna stop and then fill it with zeros accordingly so the final answer is let me just copy it 750,000.0 volts but that point zero is not necessary again so that's how this elevator ride works and that's how you can convert any metric amount to any metric amount in my next video, I'll show you how to add, subtract, and multiply and divide uh, different metric units. And uh, this elevator ride, this conversion is needed for that.